that search indexing can start to run slowly. Most business owners will keep pretty much every email they've ever received because we need to make sure that we're protected from lawsuits or we might have a customer who emails us from five years ago and we wanna know what the history is with that customer. But what ends up happening is if you're storing all of your local emails on your local device, well, unfortunately, you do risk losing them if anything ever happens to your computer, but the performance starts to slow down when you have a very large mailbox. Every time I email one of my friends from my iCloud account, it keeps sending from my Gmail account. Why is this happening? I would like my iCloud email to be sent directly from my iCloud account. I'm gonna assume that this person is using Apple Mail. And when you're using Apple Mail, you have a choice of sending between different email addresses that are connected to your computer. I'm also gonna assume they have multiple email addresses connected inside Apple Mail, being both their iCloud account and also their Gmail account. And for whatever reason, when they go to send an email, it's choosing the wrong one. Now, I can't give you troubleshooting help without actually seeing that, but I think this is an important moment for me to raise why I would strongly recommend you use Gmail in the browser rather than working with Apple Mail on the desktop. You see, using Gmail in the browser gives you the power of everything Google. You've got as many emails as you want to store online, and you're able to search through every single one of those emails in a moment. Now, if I open up my inbox, I can go back to about 15 years worth of email. And within that inbox, I can search for just about anything, and it's going to immediately bring those emails up. Let's go and search for something from a long time ago, like maybe emails from the year 2010. And you can see that immediately it has brought up emails all the way back to a very, very long time. Now, this is an interesting email title. It says, the best positions in bed. Let's open that up and have a look. Oh, look at that. Some cute little puppies. That's a nice one. That could have been dangerous, couldn't it? The key thing I love about Gmail is because it's in the cloud, all the heavy lifting is being done by Google's supercomputers. And that means that if you're on your mobile device or if you're on a computer, as long as you're accessing Gmail in the browser or via the Gmail app on your phone, you've got access to all the power of Google doing the hard work instead of your device. When you search in Apple Mail, sometimes it will only bring in the last 30 days worth of email. Or if you're on a desktop computer and you've got years and years worth of data, that search indexing can start to run slowly. Most business owners will keep pretty much every email they've ever received because we need to make sure that we're protected from lawsuits or we might have a customer who emails us from five years ago and we want to know what the history is with that customer. But what ends up happening is if you're storing all of your local emails on your local device, well, unfortunately, you do risk losing them if anything ever happens to your computer, but the performance starts to slow down when you have a very large mailbox. So my strong recommendation is to have everything based in the browser using Gmail online because you're gonna get a much better experience. Not to mention, you get access to all of Google's AI and machine learning tools online, like Auto Compose, Suggested Replies. You even get the ability to automatically have follow-ups prompting you inside your inbox if you've sent someone an email and they haven't replied to you within a couple of days. All of these fancy AI features are built into Gmail online and they don't quite work if you're connecting to Outlook or to Mac Mail. Now, if you're interested in connecting to something like an iCloud account, well, you can even forward your iCloud emails into a Gmail or a Google Workspace business account, and you can send from your iCloud emails as well. Once you configure the email address in your settings inside of Gmail, you can send and receive to multiple addresses. And when you go to send your email, it's just a matter of choosing. Do you wanna send it from your Google account or would you like to send it from your secondary third-party email account, perhaps iCloud. If you haven't already made the switch to Gmail, it's a good idea to go all in on Google, work in the browser, and I promise you'll have the best time. And if you're worried about accessing your emails offline, Google even has a feature for that as well. You can now switch on offline access inside your settings of Gmail, and you can get access to up to 90 days of your emails offline for any time that you need to do work without an internet connection. Pretty handy. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack, or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. 
And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.